Hey guys, Sagara here, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are on Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3, Episode 18. This is my favourite time of week, guys, because I love the show so much. I now have, courtesy of Dave, this Sunnydale High t-shirt, which I am sporting with pride right now. I genuinely cannot wait to watch more of this show, so let's roll that intro and get straight into it. Here we go. Oh, shit. What is that? You demons can't resist a run and stumble, can you? Oh, there's two of them. They look like those sea creatures that we got. Was it last season? I'm kind of like Groot. Groot mixed with those weird sea ones. What is that? She's just been marked. Oh, blood. Was that some of their blood on her hands? <gasps> I don't like this whole no mouth thing. It's disquieting. No mouth means no teeth, unless they have them somewhere else. Wanna go? We've been researching Mare's forthcoming ascension. What do we know? What don't we know? Oh, he looks so different. Why does Sandal look so different? Is it because he's wearing yellow and it's just very bright? It's not the ritual flaying of the demon Azareth. I don't know what's going to happen. That's kind of an anticlimax. <laughs> Eventually, I just need to put it Here he is. Wesley. I was just filling Buffy in on my progress regarding the research. And what took up the rest of the minute? However, with the resources of the council at your disposal, you will have something to add. That the demon Azeroth will not in any way be... <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out more soon. Look at that little smile. There was some smugness there. I love it. The demon Azeroth? Look at him. So have you talked to Angel lately? Not really. He only kissed her for the greater good. The naked eye, it looked like fun. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe he wasn't even tempted. He wasn't tempted. You touched Ooh. one of the demons. Anyway, it's been itching like crazy. This is the demon in question? That's the one. It says it can infect the host. Infect? Infect? Giles. Hmm? Infect? <laughs> Host, an aspect of the demon. An aspect of the demon? It's a very realistic response, you know. I hope it's not the outside part. I imagine she turned into one of those. Holy. The school paper is edging on depressing lately. I don't know. I always go straight to the obits. I'm suddenly going to grow this demon part, and we don't even know what it is. What? Was it a boy demon? <laughs> Just grow as a demon penis, you know? And I wonder why I ever wasted my time on Cordelia. She's no better looking than the rest of them. None of them are really mine. Oh my God, he's looking at her. He's got his filthy adult pierced bras and the eyes all over my Cordy. My Corda. There's this thing in me and I can't find it. I, I can't stop it. Kind of like Angelus. All of a sudden, I, I could be something that's not me anymore. Is this what the parallel they're, they're going with? Because Angel can't control Angelus. I like that she confided in, confided in Willow straight away as well. Like, there was no hesitation. Well, I mean, she had a little bit, but she told us straight away what she was feeling. What are you doing here? I just want to make sure that you're, you know, okay, that you're safe. Are you keeping me safe by tracking me, or are you tracking her? I'm tracking you. Something's bothering you. You think? The most recent being this demon. I touched one of them, and now I'm going to get a big case of the bumpies or a tail or something. I won't let anything happen to you if I can help it. I'll always be with you. I'll love you. Even if you're covered with slime. I liked everything until that part. Hmm, okay. Do you believe it right at the buzzer? Three points for the win. Mm, it was intense. Yeah, for a minute there, I thought you were going to make an expression. Well, I felt one coming on, I won't lie. <laughs> I love this. I love this show. I wonder if she and Wesley have kissed. Really bugs you, huh? <gasps> Cordelia and Wesley. She can Would read you? people's minds. Yeah, you read my mind. Oh, this is going to be good, isn't it? This is going to be good. Question is, can she read Angel's mind? If we could just get rid of all the students. Buffy's so beautiful. Look at that body. Oh, 
weird. I'd love to shove against that locker right now and just. <laughs> is this the thing? The aspect thing? Because I gotta say, if it is, it is way better than a Terry. Buffy, slow down. You're most likely projecting your. When I walked in a few minutes ago, you thought, look at her shoes. If a fashion magazine told her to, she'd wear cat strap to her feet. I am. Um... <laughs> Why they don't need mouths. Demons are telepathic. I know. You just told me. This is astounding. I mean, think about what I could do. Yeah, but it could be very useful. Jealousy. Very good. Jealousy. I knew that. Is... And people were saying that Othello slept with his wife. Buffy did the reading? When did she study? Was I supposed to study? Miss Murray's kind of hot. <laughs> I swear he's just into it. anyone. He believes that she's been unfaithful. And we're all like that. We all have our little internal Iagos. And there it is, her internal Iago. Saying that Angel doesn't really love her. And he's cheated on her with Faith. I just ducked out of school and that's when they have it. I know I saw you last night, but sometimes things can change real quick. Quickly, listen to me, I'm talking like Faith. You know, not that she was so bad to have around, you know, before the evil. She was great to have around before this evil. I don't know what's happened to her. People, protective type people, might be drawn to that, I guess. Just ask him out, right? The thing about fate. You can't get into my mind. How did you? Why not? It's like the mirror. The thoughts are there, but they create no reflection in you. Nice try, though. <laughs> Giles doesn't know how long it's gonna last. It'd be ace if it stayed. <laughs> what do you want to know about Faith? How I felt kissing her? Well, since you bring it up. I hated hurting you more than I could stand. You know, she has that whole bad girl thing working for her. She, I mean, she's kind of hot. <laughs> I've been with dozens of girls like her. Oh, this honesty stuff is fun. <laughs> In 243 years, I've loved exactly one person. Oh, it does creep me out every time his age gets brought up. It is me, right? Be careful with this gift. A lot of things that seem strong and good and powerful. They can be painful. You hear thoughts you don't want to hear. A immortality? <laughs> exactly. I'm dying to get rid of that. Funny? I'm a funny guy. <laughs> you can read our minds, our every impulse and fantasy. I don't see what this has to do. I don't see what this has to do with me. Yes! Yes! I am my thoughts. If they exist in her, Buffy contains everything that is no, me, no, and she becomes me. I cease to exist. <laughs> Of course, Oz has, like, the heaviest of thoughts. Naked girls. Naked women. <laughs> naked Buffy. Oh, stop me. God, Xander, is that all you think about? Actually, bye. <laughs> <laughs> look at Cordelia. No, don't look at Cordelia. She's a student. Oh, so you remember that? I'm a bad, bad man. A bad, bad man. She knows what Oz is thinking. I never knew that. Before long, she'll know him better than I do. No, don't think that. I can't help it, Buffy. I'm sorry, I just can't. Guess I won't be writing that book, Winning Friends Through Telepathy. I wonder when I can go. Whatever. Can I go? <laughs> it's happened before. A man in Ecuador can't communicate with anyone. Dead? No, he's in complete isolation. He can't shut it off. Oh, no. Are you through with the mashed potatoes she doesn't even know i'm here <laughs> oh it'd be so loud i i would hate this this time tomorrow i'll kill you all huh was that a student she touched me <laughs> oh my gosh no thanks I, it's making me feel dizzy There's a killer in the cafeteria. See, I've been saying for years that the lunch lady's gonna do us all in with that mulligan stew. Xander. I mean, it was hardly human. It was so full of anger and pain. Oh, yeah. You should go home. I'll, I'll take you home. Yeah, okay. What, no. Uh, look, I, I need you guys to go back to the cafeteria. Make a list of everyone who's there. You can't shut it out, Giles. Got it changed quick then, didn't it? Because she was all for it before. I'll be okay, right? I mean, even if you can't get rid of it. If it doesn't go away, she'll go insane. Ugh. I'm just gonna get you another pillow. I really don't need one. Mom, please, just 
Come sit with me. I, I've got laundry. You had sex with Giles? You had sex with Giles? It was the candy. We were teenagers. On the hood of a police car? <laughs> Twice? That was brilliant. That was brilliant. <laughs> Twice? <laughs> oh. Fantasies are fun, aren't they, Jonathan? Uh, I guess. Sometimes we have to make it so people don't ignore us. You know what I'm talking about. Mm, you want me to pay attention? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Beach. I was just wondering, were you planning on killing a bunch of people tomorrow? Or oh, it's for the yearbook. <sighs> How can people not enjoy this show? I just, I, I don't get it. <laughs> it's so good. So it's getting stronger and stronger. Is we coming along all right? Yes, Buff is being driven mad. We have no proof that this is going to work, and it still requires the heart of the second demon, which we have no idea how to get without the slayer. I'm just saying it's got to be frustrating, having the secret. What secret? Being gay? I'm out. I'm so out, I've got my grandma fixing me up with guys. That's, um, nice. That weird Freddie Iverson guy that... That's the school paper? He's gay. I bet he put in like a coming out announcement for you. Freddy? He's the only one we couldn't find? Yeah, Freddy Iverson. I got it. <laughs> Jesus, that, ugh. <coughs> How did they get that to do that? See, Buffy's not even there to save the day now. But it doesn't matter because the Scoobies are still there. They got this. Right, guys? You got this, right? It was him? It was Jonathan? Jonathan. Angel, do you hear thoughts? <sighs> Did you find the killer? What are your friends going to do? Hold me down? You better believe it, Buster. You can't threaten a big murder without getting us pretty darn ticked. Murder? You're not here about the review? D Dingoes ate my baby, played their instruments as if they had plump Polish sausages taped to their fingers. Sorry, man. No, it's fair. <laughs> the killer could be anyone. We still have a few minutes. Oh, no, Buffy's here. We're gonna get Snyder to evacuate the school and just hope the killer's not waiting outside. By this time tomorrow, you all know what I've done. I'm sure you understand that I had to do it. Jonathan, oh, I had him in my grasp. Slippery weasel. Jonathan! Jonathan! Ooh, jello. <laughs> oh, God, too far. Too far. Get away from me. Okay, Jonathan, you want to point that somewhere else? Go away. Never gonna happen. You all think I'm an idiot. A short idiot. I don't. I don't think about you much at all. Bugs you, doesn't it? I understand about the pain. Oh, right. Because the burden of being beautiful and athletic, that's a crippler. My life happens to, on occasion, suck beyond the telling of it. Every single person down there is ignoring your pain because they're too busy with their own. Mm-hmm. It looks quiet down there. It's not. It's deafening. You know, I could have taken that by now. I just wanted it to stop. Yeah, well, mass murder, not really doctor recommended for that kind of pain. I, I wouldn't ever hurt anybody. I came up here to kill myself. Red 
vermin. You're all vermin. You come in here and you eat and you eat. I don't see this being settled with logic. <laughs> That was a uh, a lot to process in a, a short amount of time. How are you? Loving the quiet. Nobody in here but me. Please bring up the fact that you slept with Joyce. Please. Feel up to some training? Sure. We can work it after school. You know, if you're not too busy having sex with my mother. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I freaking knew that they would do that because they're brilliant. <laughs> Uncomfortable Giles, my favourite kind of Giles. <laughs> okay, so really interesting episode. We touched on some really heavy topics. Uh, we got to see the gang step up, as they always do, but it's not always nice to see it when Buffy isn't there. They're still, you know, trying to save the day. Uh, it can't all be on Buffy's shoulders all the time. So let's just start with the whole Buffy being able to read minds. I love the concept. I loved what she heard from certain people. I feel like the writers really know the characters. And what I mean by that is, it's realistic to them. So when it came to Cordelia, for instance, she thought something, she instantly said it. That's how she works. She always has worked that way. And now it was just proven with this episode. Like she thinks it, she says it. It's as deep as it goes. <laughs> and then we had something more so like Willow, where she tried to stay positive verbally and she's trying to help out. So what's coming out of her mouth is uh, it makes sense and she's trying to help, but in her head, those insecurities start spewing out. It was nice to see Buffy's response to those inner thoughts. Uh, it, it's, it must be awful sort of having that invasion of privacy like that. Um, but yeah, Buffy didn't ask for it and I think she handled it really well. Like, please don't, please don't think like that. And she was trying to comfort her, which was nice. Oz is like an enigma. He's just so cool. So like laid back, he could fall over, but he, you can tell that he, he's very intellectual and he does, he does think a lot. So when Buffy went into Oz's mind, it was so interesting to hear like these really heavy, thoughts you know i just found that interesting in comparison to say xander which was very much like girls boobs sex you know that was pretty much it <laughs> which i found you know realistic to a lot of boys i think i, I forget what the actual fact is but it's something on like, like boys think about sex every what like 30 seconds something like that let's have a look shall we it says the study showed men thought about sex 19 times per day on average. They say men then go out sex every seven seconds, but realistically, according to this study, it's 19 times per day and it's an average. It is a lot. <laughs> so I think it was good that they had that within the show and through Xander. He is a lot more complex than just thinking about sex. We know this. I don't need you guys coming at me in the comments saying he's so much more than that. I know that. It's just funny, you know? And it is a part of him. And another thing <laughs> which I loved <laughs> was Joyce <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to offer Buffy so much help, like blankets, pillows, soup, anything. Just keep, do not think about sex. Do not think about sex. <laughs> and then Buffy's like, Giles, you had sex with Giles on a car it was just so like the comedic timing was impeccable and i loved it uh and don't get me wrong obviously the comedy is great it always is in the show but we also got the heavy topic as well which was jonathan and i think jonathan is an incredible actor i really really do and i think he sold it perfectly buffy's experience with obviously the uh being telepathic she knew what all of the this crowd was thinking she physically knew and she, like she said it seems quiet down there but it's not it's deafening it's so loud the thoughts the insecurities the troubles the struggles the everything 
and she shared this with Jonathan. It managed to talk him down as well, talk him off that ledge. And it was a shame that when he said, look, I'm not, I wasn't going to shoot up the school. I, I was here to kill myself. I still found that so heavy and obviously no circumstance or no situation there is a winner. They're both awful situations. And I just hope that after this, uh, Jonathan gets the help that he needs. And what surprised me a little bit is the joke after where Buffy mentions, I went, what, who am I, Saint Buffy? Like, I'm not gonna take this three foot guy to, to prom. That bit, <laughs> just, I didn't expect, you know? I just didn't expect that because after someone, like Giles said, after someone that physically knew the pain and suffering that people were going through, and especially Jonathan, I might add, I felt that line was a little bit insensitive, well, a lot insensitive, but a little bit out of character, perhaps. Unless it was just a joke and that's as far as it went, I don't know. Maybe she meant that as, I'm obviously kidding. But either way, like it just didn't didn't land too well, in my opinion. And I want to talk about Angel and Buffy in this one as well, because obviously Buffy's struggling with this idea, like these toxic thoughts that she's getting about faith in Angel and seeing Angel as Angelus, like fake Angelus and the PTSD that she has from that. It was nice that she had the guts to ask those questions finally and she sort of made fun at herself saying like oh that would be the easy thing to do or the right thing to do and it's so true like a lot of people they find talking so difficult that they'd rather not say anything and allow their minds to do the work and it just never ends well because when you overthink you make up scenarios i'm guilty of it myself you make up all these crazy scenarios that just aren't true and it can be solved if you if you talk and you talk it out so i'm glad that they had that moment and i liked the comedy as well like afterwards when she was explaining to willow about everything and she was like yeah you know we had a talk <laughs> he fed me demon what was it demon heart blood or something like that and then yeah we talked again it was great <laughs> so i think a lot of comedy definitely landed in this in this episode and some of the heaviest stuff landed really well as well and uh, the acting was great as always i think giles i just think he's he's amazing even giles though could not control the thoughts that he was having and i think that's important to remember is that if you were to say like i'm gonna shut off my thoughts like it would it would be next to impossible to do and when buffy said like is this like i'm scared type of thing i don't know what's gonna happen and he's like trust me i promise everything's gonna be fine <laughs> and then in his head obviously the truth came out then where he's like this could be an utter disaster so I just liked a lot of moments in this one. I really did. I was laughing. I, I found uh, emotion in parts. Like the action was great as well. I didn't really like the flip that she did. It seemed a bit excessive, but you know, she does like to uh, show off now and then does our Buffy. So we'll let it slide. Uh, but yeah, great, great episode. I want to thank you all for watching this as well. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for leaving your comments in advance as well, because I always love to read them. I appreciate it so much. Please check out my links that are in the description of this video as well. And I hope to see you for the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.